I want to share with my uh, Facebook and YouTube followers what I consider to be uh, probably the best uh, cichlid combination in terms of uh, peace and serenity, in terms of being able to thrive with plants, uh, three species that uh, get along uh, very well together. And uh, you're probably aware that my uh, I've done other videos on the Geophagus uh, Sveni. Uh, I consider them absolutely beautiful, they're peaceful, and uh, in the last few months, I've uh, combined them with some adult uh, uh, ahecoli, albino ahecoli, which uh, are uh, gorgeous too. Uh, as many of you are aware, these are two of the most uh, sought after uh, peaceful non-African cichlids these days, and uh, they're not necessarily cheap or easy to get, but uh, I'd encourage anybody with the uh, facilities to in invest in these uh, uh, gorgeous fish. They're long-lived, they uh, eat practically anything, uh, they can put on a beautiful show with their, their long trailers and uh, in this particular setting where I have them with uh, each other and some angelfish that are kind of hiding right now. Uh, you know, again, they put on a spectacular show. The, uh, this is a heavily planted aquari aquarium. I recently had to thin it out quite a bit because uh, there wasn't enough uh, swimming room for the uh, fish that remain in this uh, in this aquarium. Uh, so uh, that, that gave them a lot more room to swim. It's a seven foot, 200 gallon uh, aquarium. They, uh, I've had the uh, Sveni spawn in this aquarium probably at least 10 times. Uh, and one of the nice things too is uh, the, observe, the observed aggression was minimal because they were able to find a uh, location, a hole where they could privately uh, lay their eggs, not feel threatened, and uh, the fry could could grow until at least at least until the uh, angelfish, the catfish, the placos. Uh, pick them off. So sadly, none of the uh, fry have made it, uh, but uh, that's fine. I'm enjoying every minute of the peace, the beautiful combination of these two cichlids and with angelfish together. I don't, again, I don't know why the angelfish are hiding other than uh, when these uh, big guys feed, and I fed them a few minutes ago, they uh, they do uh, uh, maybe scare them off a little bit, the angelfish, but really no problems with the angelfish either. Yeah, let's see what else I can say about these guys. Uh, I just love the uh, long trailers that they have. And uh, the four A Heckali, albino A Heckali, probably stand out more just because of their iridescent colors and their shimmering scales than the, uh, the uh, Sveni, whereas the Sveni before the Albano Heckali were the centerpiece of this aquarium. Uh, 
now the uh, the uh, Ahecali probably are more dominant from a, a visual standpoint when you look into the aquarium. But nonetheless, less. I, you know, two of my favorite fish. Uh, they just love a planet aquarium. I have techniques that I use so that they don't uh, dig up the plants. Most of the plants are epiphytes, those that are in, that are, you know, the swords, the crypts, for example, they're in planted uh, baskets. And uh, those baskets, I put small flat stones on the surface so that the fish won't dig them up. So I've never had any problem with, uh, with uh, these uh, beautiful fish. Uh, dealing or having problems with uh, uh, my aquarium plants. So just wanted to get these uh, fish back on, on uh, my videos, my videos, uh, especially since I've combined these uh, two uh, related uh, Amazon uh, cichlids and uh, I capture some film myself of uh, this very uh, precious time in my hobby where these uh, fish in this 200-gallon uh, aquarium are uh, probably at their, uh, their zenith in terms of beauty and health. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, look forward to them. As always, John Demokis, half man, half cichlid.